All right, and welcome to your introductory lesson into active and passive voice. Now, before we can cover active and passive voice, we have to understand that there are three building blocks to um, any sentence. All right, and the first building block that we have is the subject. Okay, the subject does the action of the sentence. Very simple. The action verb is the action of the sentence, which is done by the subject. And then the third component that you need to understand um, to understand active and passive voice is that there, from time to time, is going to be a direct object. And the direct object receives the action of the verb. So what I have um, are three sentences. Okay, the dog bit the cat, the cat scratched the dog, and then the angry bleeding dog killed the stupid cat. And what we're going to do with those sentences is I'm going to label them um, for subject, action verb, and direct object. And I'm going to label them according to the colors. So subjects, I'm going to label in red. Action verbs are going to be labeled in blue. And then direct objects, I'm going to underline using purple. So if we look at the first sentence, the dog bit the cat. We're always going to start with looking for the subject. And of course, I'm reminded the subject does the action. So what bit the cat? Well, the dog did. So I underline that once and I write an S above it for subject. Okay, the dog is the subject of the sentence. Then I need to look for the action verb and the action verb is the action done by the sentence. So what did the dog do? The dog bit, okay? So bit is going to become my action verb. I'm gonna label that by underlining it twice and writing a V above it for verb. And then the final thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for a direct object. And a direct object is going to receive the action of the verb. In other words, what was bit by the dog? And that is the cat. Okay. The cat was bit by the dog. And cat would be my direct object in the first sentence. So sentence number two, again, we're always going to start with subject. Um, just does the action. So the cat scratched the dog. What scratched the dog? The cat did. So underline once and write an S above it. What did the cat do? It's time for the verb. The cat scratched. Okay, so underline that twice and write a V above it. Then the direct object. What did the cat scratch? And the answer to that is dog. Okay, the cat scratched the dog and that would be my direct object. Um, now we're going to look at the third sentence. The angry bleeding dog killed the stupid cat. So it's a little bit longer of a sentence um, but let's see if we can find the subject. So again subject does the action. Um, what killed the stupid cat? Well the dog did. So underline once or I nest above it. What did the dog do? The dog killed. Underline twice. Write a V above it because that's my verb. And then what did the dog kill? The dog killed the direct object. And that would be the cat. All right, so when we're saying that the direct object is receiving the action of the verb, okay, another way to think of it this as is what is receiving the killing? Well, the cat is receiving the killing. The dog is receiving the scratching. The cat is receiving the biting. All right, um, that's just another way to look at it. Now, if you look at these three sentences, you're gonna notice something. You're gonna notice that there's a little bit of a pattern. It always goes subject, action verb, direct object. Subject, action verb, direct object. Subject, action verb, direct object. And that's because these sentences follow a pattern, just like all sentences in the English language. And that pattern that sentences in the English language follow is subject is going to come first, followed by the action verb, followed by a direct object. All right? So if you can identify the subject, if you can identify the action verb, and you can identify the direct object, you're going to notice a pattern. Um, 
And noticing that pattern is going to help you when it comes to active and passive voice.